In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Look upon your family, Lord, that through the chastening effects of bodily discipline, our minds may be radiant in your presence with the strength of our yearning for you. So our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Blessed says the Lord, just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows and bread to the one who eats. So shall my word be, that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. The Lord has eyes for the just and ears for their cry. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. From all their distress, God rescues the just. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit, He saves. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Please stand. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, in praying, do not babble like the pagans who think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. Your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. This is how you are to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. If you forgive men their transgressions, your heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you do not forgive men, neither will your Father forgive your transgressions. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alam niyo minsan sa simbahan, di ka maalala kung kailan yon. Pinagbawal yung pagtaas ng kamay. Pag tayo magdadasal na ng Our Father sa misa, para sa akin napakagandang gesture. Itong pagtaas ng kamay, bukas ang kapalad, kapag ka nagdadasal tayo ng Our Father sa misa. Pansin niyo ba, sa buong misa, ito lang yung pagkakataon na tayong lahat pwede magtaas ng kamay. Most of the time, pare yung nagsasabi, the Lord be with you, let us pray. Kaya nga may mga tao din na sumasagot, and with your spirit, pero hindi kasama po yun. Initiative na lang ng mga tao. Napakalaga sa akin itong gesture na ito, sapagkat ito'y nagsasalarawan, nagsasalamin ng saloobin natin. That physical external gesture reflects inner disposition that we should have and The Our Father, the prayer, teaches us. Ano yung mga yun? Tatlong punto lang, mga kapatid. Unang-una, para sa akin, yung pagtaas ng kamay ay tanda ng pakikipag-ugnayan natin sa Diyos. Physical yan. Kung bang ini-imagine mo, ako lagi ko na-imagine, na sa lalarawan yung bata, tatakbo sa tatay o nanay, takataas yung kamay, Mami, Daddy, anong gagawin ng magulang? Iaabotin yung kamay. Hindi man natin magawa, hindi natin nakikita ang Panginoon. But physically, we want to do that. In fact, the higher, the better. Pag magdadasal tayo, siguro pinagbabawa lang kasi baka umamoy na yung simbahan. Baka may mga pinawisan na dyan, galing naglakad. Tama na siguro yung ganun. It's a recognition that we are begging, asking, imploring, God the Father, we are His children. At tingin ko ito yung unang punto na gusto ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. That we recognize ourselves as God's children and that God is our Father. And in the Our Father, we have this recognition, this connection. Pakipag-ugnayan, pakipag-daop palad. It means we have to accept who we are. Hindi tayo ang boss. Hindi tayo ang authority. Hindi tayong makapangyarihan. We need to have that humility to accept we are His children. Ikalawang tanda ng pagtaas ng ating kamay, ito rin ay tanda na tayo ay bukas sa lahat ng galing sa Panginoon. Bukas sa Kanyang pagiging ama, bukas sa Kanyang kalooban, dito sa lupa, gayon din sa langit, bukas sa pagtanggap ng kanyang kabutihan, mahirap tumanggap na sarado ang kamay. When we ask the Lord, give us this day our daily bread, we have to open our hands. Marunong tayong tumanggap. Huwag lang hingi ng hingi, kundi tatanggap din tayo. Kaya po mga kapatid, yan di pagpapakita that without God, we cannot receive anything. And we should open our mind, our will, our hearts for whatever God provides us. Whether that daily bread is small, plenty, many, we recognize we need God. At pangatlo, bakit nakabukas para sa akin? Hindi pwedeng sarado. Lalo na pagdating sa punto na Forgive us our trespasses. Imaginin mo magdadasal ka na kaganun. Yung nakasarang kamao o kamay o palad ay tanda ng palaban. It's a gesture of anger, hostility. And that is why 
the Lord said, hindi ka pwedeng tumanggap ng kapatawaran na hindi ka rin marunong magbigay nito. Huwag mong i-expect, huwag kang humingi sa Panginoon na hindi mo kayang ibigay sa iba. That is why we have to open it. Because we are pleading for forgiveness, the same forgiveness that we should give to others. Yung iba hingi ng lang hingi ng patawad. Pero sa kasalanan ng ibang tao, hindi makamove on. Hindi pwede mga kaibigan, mga kapatid. What we ask from the Lord, we should also be willing to give to others. Kaya hindi sarado. At sa dulo ng ating panalangin, humingi tayo ng tulong. Ilayo kami sa tukso. Kapag kami tukso, patatukso, nagkamali. We also again need to extend our hand to grasp the hand of God helping us. Just imagine, inaabot na ng Diyos ang kamay niya, isasara pa rin natin yung kamay natin. Maghawakan tayo, makinaupalad sa tulong ng Panginoon sa panahon ng tukso, panahon ng kasalanan, sa panahon ng paglugmok, pagbagsak natin. Open our hands. So my dear brothers and sisters, the next time you pray the Our Father, hindi lang sa misa siguro. Kung kang misa, mas maganda po. Itaas natin. Lord, because we recognize He is God, we are His children. We need, we accept. We forgive, we are forgiven. Kaya mamaya, kung pwede lang, pagdating ng sign of peace, extend your hand. Nasanay tayo sa payukuyuko. How do we do it? Do you want peace? Hindi ganun. Extend your hand. Not a cleansed fist. That's a sign of anger. Fighting mood. Extend your hand and say, Peace be with you. That is our Father. Please all listen. Christ has told us we can call God our Father. So with firm hope, we present our petitions before Him as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom <coughs> of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. That amidst life difficulties, we may not give up praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the sick and those who care for them may encounter God in their daily sacrifices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead may meet the Lord face to face in His eternal home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in silence, we offer to the Lord our other personal and communal intentions. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please, all stand. My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Creator, Almighty God, what we bring from your bountiful goodness, and be pleased to transform this temporal sustenance you have given us, that it may bring us eternal life through christ our lord amen lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that feed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirits upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and from my divine teaching, we dare to say, us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen.
Please all kneel as we pray the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please, Holy Stand. Let us pray. Grant us through these mysteries, Lord, that by moderating earthly desires, we may learn to love the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Brothers and sisters, you are cordially invited to come to the following services of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Confession from Monday to Friday, from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. at the Pascal Chapel. Praying of the Reparation Rosary for Truth, Integrity, and Wisdom from Monday to Saturday at 5.40 a.m. Exposition of the Blessed Sacraments and Benediction, integrated with the Office of Readings and Evening Prayer, every Wednesday from 5.30 p.m. to 6.45 p.m. And last, Station of the Cross every Friday from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Thank you. Please all listen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo, pakikisa sa misang ito. Naway sa inyong pag-uwi, bit-bit nyo, dalan nyo ang biyaya ng Diyos at ang mga panalangin ng mahal na ina. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer, prayer for the blessing of religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.